Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Magnum Martel, and today we're going to be talking about a very serious topic. Today we are going to be discussing the order, the executive order, passed down on August 6th by President Donald J. Trump. An order that essentially might have a very steep ramification on the gaming industry. It is, of course, an executive order to remove and ban business with Tencent. That's putting it, well, more or less in layman's terms. The actual specifics is much harder to go over and a lot more to talk about. Let's get right into it. On August 6th of 2020, President Trump released the executive order to essentially limit and or prohibit business around an app called WeChat, which is owned and operated, of course, by Tencent Media, which is a Chinese conglomerate that at this time has huge, huge investments in the tech industry. This, of course, comes down shortly after his order to completely ban TikTok. His reason for this, as I went over in my TikTok video, is, of course, national security. He is afraid that this Chinese conglomerate is collecting data on American citizens and the users of the, of the app. This would come as no surprise to me. China is infamous for collecting data on everyone and everything it can because it loves to have power and control. And of course, there are rules specifically in China that any company operating from within their borders, essentially at any time the Chinese government can say, we want everything you've collected and they have to turn it over. That's putting it very, very simply. There's a lot more to go in, in detail there. I'm just not the one who's going to explain it, because I'll tell you the truth, I don't fully understand how it works. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an expert on Chinese or international law. I more or less know the bare minimum like your average American citizen. I would have to take a lot of time researching these topics, and that's something that I would like to do, but at the time I'm making this video, I just haven't had the opportunity to do. I'm trying to get a lot of things done today, so I just want to talk about, specifically, the ban here on Tencent signed in the executive order, and how it may, maybe, it just might, affect the gaming industry. It's no secret to anyone that Tencent, this massive conglomerate, has huge piles of money invested into the gaming industry. In Riot Games with League of Legends. In Fortnite by Epic Games. They have invested in Ubisoft, Funcom, Jaeger, Blue Hole Entertainment. The list goes on and on. October of 2019, PC Gamer Magazine and the website did a piece about the different investments that Tencent has actually put into, and there's a long list of games here. Mind you, that list is from October 2019. It's August 2020. Imagine how much that list and those numbers have changed in the last year. Even Discord has had investments straight from Tencent. Now, as I said, I am not an expert on these particular topics. I can't go into all of the explicit and deep overlying details or technical information here. But if you do want someone who can at least explain it to you in, a, in an easily digestible fashion, who has done the research already, I highly recommend, and I've recommended this guy quite a few times here on my channel, you check out Upper Echelon Gamers here on YouTube. He does a, gr a great amount of, it, of analytical and opinion pieces, and the video that I have circled here in this screenshot is the one I'm referring to. I will leave a link to it down in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. He does a much better job explaining the technicality behind everything than I could do here. But with the executive order comes the worry that the gaming industry might be facing another inevitable crash. This has been something that people have been talking about for a very long time. It's something that I still don't fully believe might actually happen. The gaming industry is much too huge at this point, much bigger than it was during its last crash. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But essentially, with this large amount of investment money being shoveled through to these companies by Tencent, everyone is worried that they will be limited in their operations or that that money is going to stop and thus it's going to hurt all of these companies. It is possible. Imagine Tencent as a zombie apocalypse. You know, in, in, in one small city. Imagine the gaming industry is Raccoon City and Tencent is the zombie outbreak caused by Umbrella. I'm going with a Resident Evil analogy here. It's the best thing I could come up with off the top of my head on short sure notice. But imagine that the government essentially does what they do in the Resident Evil games. They nuke the city in a desperate attempt to destroy the zombie infection. That's basically what's going on here. We are Our president is basically stopping tents and cold so the infection can't spread any further, no matter the cost of, well, everyone else, that being 
all of these gaming companies. There's no way to really know exactly what's going to happen. Just know that a lot of money is going to be changing hands, a lot of lobbyist a, lo a lot of lobbyism is going to be happening, and there's no way to say what the eventual outcome will be. If I were one of these companies and Tencent was getting blocked out entirely, I'm not going to lie. I think I'd be cutting my losses before I started losing business. But supposedly these companies, since they operate within the United States, will not be limited. Now there's a bunch of technical information that I could go through here about Blizzard and how they're actually run out of a, basically a fucking basement in, I think it's Norway or something. Actually the video I, I told you to check out goes into detail about that. But that doesn't really matter here. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not an expert when it comes to business analytics, advertising, or international law. I can't really say. I'm not an expert on these topics. I'm only just slowly learning about them as I get older. And I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be frank with you about it. These are things that I never thought would actually happen or affect me in any way. But here we are. Video games are always under attack when it comes to politics and politicians here in the United States. Gamers are constantly blamed for every little mishap. Video games are constantly blamed for every time somebody does something stupid. That is the world that we've come to live in, and unfortunately the industry is just never really going to be safe, because for some reason it is hated so heavily by so many across the political spectrum. My primary concern is the safety of the gaming industry and gaming itself. All of the new, uh, smaller people who are coming out and trying to make their own games because they're tired of the industry, even the big names that still make things that I care about. That is my primary concern in all this, and I don't know what's going to happen. This could stop the business of most of the companies that I personally enjoy cold. Or it could have absolutely no effect whatsoever, like they're saying it's going to. I'm not an expert. I don't know. All I know is that my primary concern lies with what's going to happen to the thing that I care about most. What's going to happen to my video games? Are they going to get worse? Is there going to be more awful predatory practices as a result of Tencent not being allowed to actually do business, sort of as a fuck you to the consumer? Is there going to be a complete cold stop on the things that, on these games that I, that, uh, from these companies? That, who knows? Who fucking knows, man? All I know is that I want the industry to survive. I want it to continue. And I, most importantly, I don't want it to get worse. But unfortunately, as with all things, it's going to get worse before it gets better. I don't agree with this executive order. I feel like this is hasty and rash and is pushing forward much too fast. I feel like this is a last bit attempt by our president before the election to do something that he's wanted to do for a long time, just in case he loses. But who knows? I'm not going to talk about who I want to win or don't want to win or who I think will or won't win. That's not important here. I just think that that's what's going on. It's a push. It's an attempt to push back and do the things that he wanted to put through while there's still time. Election year in the United States is a big deal. Arguably, it is one of the most important years every time it comes around. Arguably, it is probably the most important thing to our government in general. Our people, not so much. But that's the world we live in. And there's always someone who wants to be in charge and everyone else who's in charge now to be put back down at the bottom. Election year is that one time of year where everything you did and do is come under scrutiny if you are in the political <laughs> environment. Election year is that time to, if there's something hasty and stupid that you wanted to do, now's the time to actually do it because obviously you're going to need to worry about either getting votes or not getting votes. There's no telling what's going to happen to the gaming industry, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll tell you the truth, I am afraid. I am uncertain of what's going to happen to the thing I care about most. But I can say one thing. An absolute that is a constant in my life and my very existence. I am a Martel, first and foremost. I am the hammer. Some jobs require a scalpel, others require a hammer. When you want the hammer, you call me. And I'm going to tell you the truth right now. My father used to tell me that there is nothing more dangerous than a Martel with too much time on his hands, nothing better to do, and an enemy to focus his attention on. And I get the feeling that coming here soon, there's going to be an enemy for this one with nothing better to do to focus his attention on. 